Today we're going to talk about my most expensive makeup I have versus least expensive that's very similar. Similar in texture or lasting power, not necessarily shade dupes, but dupes for the feel and the look you can get from the products. I purchased this Glow Wish from Huda Beauty. I love it. It goes on very soft and is buildable. It looks great on mature skin. I have no regrets purchasing this. I use it a lot even though it looks like I haven't touched it. This is going to last me a very long time. But a lot of products from the drugstore, the bronzers I have found, go on more harsh. That's why I love the one from Flower Beauty. I've talked about a lot, the Heat Wave. But I have another one to share with you that I think is so affordable and gives you the look of the Huda. And that's this product that's been out a long time from Rimmel. I don't even see it in the drugstores anymore. I ordered it on Amazon. And I think in my life, I've purchased at least three of these. My daughter's had a couple. This is the Shea Coral Glow. Now the highlighter in here is so soft and beautiful. The bronzer looks a lot like the Huda. It's very buildable, it goes on softly, and then you have a gorgeous blush that looks amazing on mature skin. So you get all three of these for a very affordable price with a high-end look. I love this NARS gloss. I purchased it a couple of times. It gives a beautiful look to the lips. Kim Kardashian made it famous about eight years ago. This particular shade is Turkish Delight, but I have a gloss from the drugstore that I actually prefer. It feels better on my lips. It's made for sensitive skin, and it's this one from L'Oreal. It's part of their Glow Paradise line. This is a hybrid. It's like a lip balm and gloss all in one. It looks beautiful as a top on top of lip pencil, which is what I've done today. It looks great over lipstick, or you can just wear it alone. Sometimes I'll just put it on before bed because it's very hydrating on my lips and it plumps them up. But I love this and it's so much more affordable than the NARS. The most expensive concealer I currently own is this one from Lancome. I've also tried Charlotte Tilbury's concealer. I've tried a few in my lifetime that were more expensive. And I've always walked away feeling that they really weren't worth it, that I could find something in the drugstore just as good. And what I am loving is this one from Neutrogena, their Radiant Cream Concealer. This doesn't crease, it looks beautiful in the under eyes. It, this one, the Lancome was a bit drying for me. The days that I tried it, it just was very drying in the under eye. Many of you have told me you had the same experience. So what I've done to use this is just used it around my face in different areas, but kept it away from the eyes. But the main reason I wanted the product was for the eye area. So I love that the Neutrogena has some good skincare ingredients. It isn't drying in my under eye, yet gives me the look of brightness under the eyes. For powder, I have the Laura Mercier. This is very famous. It's well worth the money. It really is a great powder, but there is one that is so much more affordable. Sometimes on Amazon, it's less than $4, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me. I can use this in the under eye, but let me explain how I use it. I really can't use either of these just pressing powder in with a brush or a sponge. It just dries my under eyes out and makes them look uh, very crepey and my eyes look 20 years older. So what I do when I go into the Fit Me powder is I use what's in the lid, just a little tiny bit, and I do what makeup artists call finger powdering. This has been around forever, where I'll just take clean hands, dip my finger and get just a microscopic amount, and then press it into the skin. I will even sometimes put a little setting spray on my hand, dip into that, mix the two together, and just with the warmth of my finger, pat it in. I'm almost 60, I'll be 58 soon, so my under eye area is very tricky. I really look much younger if I don't wear any concealer at all. I'm very strategic with how I apply my under eye concealer because it can go from my eyes looking pretty good to making them look worse by adding makeup. So I make sure that I start with my skin very moisturized, hydrated with my eye cream, some oil. I let that dry down a bit. Then I go in with the concealer and the powder. But I'm very strategic with the powder and I use very little. 
The priciest foundation I have right now is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This is actually a trial size. It's not the full size, and even this was around $45. So it's not inexpensive. I did love the look of it on my skin. I thought it looked great. It lasted all day. It didn't sink into pores in a way that made my pores noticeable in the T-zone. So I was happy with it but that's a lot of money to spend on foundation. I have one that you can purchase on Amazon because I'm here in the United States. We don't have this at the drugstore, uh, but I found it on Amazon and it's fantastic and it's the Healthy Mix Foundation. This looked just as beautiful on my skin. It's what I'm wearing right now. What I did to apply it is I dotted it on my face, sprayed some setting spray, let it sit for about 30 seconds, and then blended it out. And I do find that using my fingers to press into the pores makes the makeup not sit in the pores. I've had a little more trouble with that as I've gotten older. The pores are a little more enlarged and the makeup can sort of pool in my pores in the T-zone. So what I find is if I take the warmth of my finger and sort of press it out and then let it dry, it dries down beautifully. So I feel, even though I love the Giorgio Armani, it's a great foundation, that this one looks just as great on my skin. Let's talk about some blush. I have one blush right now I can't replicate in my collection, and I want to explain why. This is from Patrick Ta. I was so excited to try one of his products. I went out and purchased it at Sephora because I heard all of the buzz. What I think is so great about this product is you have two in one. This has a blush and a cream blush. And I like layering blushes. I like to either put the cream on first and put a little powder. Sometimes if I want to look dewier, what I'll do is I'll put the powder and put the cream on top. This makes this last all day. It looks so pretty on the skin. The packaging on this was pretty close to perfect. It has a little lucite or a plastic covering that keeps the powder from the blush out of the cream blush. That's one of my pet peeves. I don't like it when they put powder and cream in a palette, but there's no covering for the cream and it gets all the powder overspray into it. So I really like how this has this little door here. The cream and the powder are beautiful. So if you're looking for something for travel, I love this because you have two in one. The packaging is very luxe. So this is something you might want to save up for or spring for. I am really happy that I bought it. Let's talk about taking a drugstore blush and making it look very luxe. This is my Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Ecstasy. Now what's so great about this product is you also in this have two blushes in one. The center is deeper and the outer is a variation of the shade but with shimmer in it. And this is what she calls her pop to give you a little more color. So it is an amazing blush. I don't feel I wasted my money on it. I get a lot of use out of it and it looks beautiful on my mature skin. What you can do to save a little money is get a palette like this. This is from Flower Beauty. This has been out a long time. I love it. It is all highlighters and you have different shades of champagne, a pink, and a gold. Then just take any blush you already have like this one I have from Rimmel that's super affordable. It's under five dollars and you can apply this first and then just go with a fluffy brush into one of these highlighters and go over it. It will give you a very similar look to the look you get from a Charlotte Tilbury blush. Plus, when you have all these shades, you can get a lot of different looks and you can mix them with all the blushes that you already have. I really didn't have a lot of experience with MAC blushes, so I bought this one recently. It's in the shade Dainty. It's so beautiful. I like their baked blushes like this. I've always loved baked blushes, the way they look on the skin. But if you're not wanting to spend that much on a blush, then the Milani, I have it here in Dulce Pink, is very similar. This one actually, the Milani, has a little more shimmer to it than the MAC. I think the MAC is fantastic. They're both great blushes. It's just really price point what you would like to spend. Again, this one is a little more subtle. So if you don't like sparkle, I would say spend the extra and get the MAC. And if you're looking for something just similar but don't want to spend that kind of money on a blush, then I'd say you'll be very happy with the Milani. 
This is a mini size of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. What I love about these lipsticks that she makes is that they're matte, but moisturizing. They're not drying on my lips. I've tried so many dozens of matte lipsticks. And this one doesn't look dried out on the lips ever. There's enough moisture in it that even though it's a flat shade, it's not a drying lipstick. And that's the difference. I've tried many that are matte, but super drying. But one from the drugstore that I've talked about for a very long time, it came out about a year ago, is from L'Oreal. These have the same kind of formula. They feel the same on the lips. They're moisturizing. They give you a more matte look. Now, I sometimes like to add a little gloss on top. So if you want just a little gloss in the middle, these are perfect because you might not want a full glossy lip. You can start off with this and then just add a little gloss in the center. But I think this line from L'Oreal, this is number 171, New Confident is just beautiful and perfect for mature lips. Charlotte Tilbury makes amazing lip pencils. What I love about her lip pencils is they're long lasting. Lots of people do videos about shade dupes and that's great when you're looking for a particular shade. But what I love most is that hers are not only pretty, but they last a long time on the lips. So they're low maintenance. You just put it on, go about your day and you don't have to keep thinking whether your lip liner is wearing off. I have an inexpensive one that I love to share, and I don't hear many people talking about Rimmel. Rimmel makes amazing lip pencils, and I hear a lot of people talk about NYX, which I love their lip pencils, but for me, they don't glide on the lips very well. They're a little bit of a dry formula, and I always have to make sure to put some kind of balm or something so they're not tugging on my lips. These, I don't have to do that. I really love these. Right now, I'm wearing the Lasting Finish in the shade Rose Quartz. And I have just filled in my whole lip, put a little gloss on, and I'm good to go. Now, another one that I have, and these also remind me a lot of like MAC pencils. I have had MAC lip pencils. I love them too. This one here is the shade Nude, and it's so versatile. I can pretty much wear it with most of my lipstick. It stays on all day, and these are so inexpensive. I would love to hear about products that are inexpensive that you have found and are enjoying and maybe replace some of the more expensive products you've bought, or even if you've never bought any expensive makeup, just something from the drugstore that you think is such high quality. In the first pinned comment, you'll see the winner of last week's giveaway. Congratulations. I'll be giving away travel mirrors all summer. I think it's just the perfect gift. You can take it with you. And even if you're like me and not traveling anywhere, then you can use it at home in your purse. It's just perfect. So if you'll leave me a comment below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, if you'd give it a like, that really supports my channel. Also, the links are beneath the video if you hit show more or the down arrow. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed week and I will see you soon.